Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to talk to you about sending messages with APRS and using the SMS GTE service to protect a little bit of your privacy. Stick around and we'll get right to it. A big shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. All right, so it seems like every time I do a video with APRS and text messaging to mobile phones, I get quite a few questions. So I hope this video will kind of uh, answer some of those questions and show you how to safeguard a little bit of your privacy. So we're going to go ahead and go through a couple of demos here before we get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you is this website here. And this website is called Quacker.io. And it's just a temporary phone number service where you can receive text messages. Uh, kind of a cool little service for guys like YouTubers because it allows me to demonstrate things like this without exposing my phone number over uh, YouTube. So, well, what I'm going to do is I am going to take my FT3DR, I've already got a message composed, and I'm going to send it to this uh, website that you see right behind me, or the phone number that you see uh, listed right here. I'm going to be addressing it to that phone number um, so that we can watch it populate on the screen. So let me see if I can scoot over just a little bit, because this should auto-populate. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, transmit button on the radio. And we'll give that just a couple of seconds. And there you go. You can see that that, uh, that message just came in from the HT. So that was very simple to do just by uh, addressing that uh, APRS message to SMS GTE. And then putting the at symbol, the 10 digit phone number followed by your message. However, there's a problem with that method. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to go over to the uh, APRS.FI website and tell you what, let me get myself off the screen here for a minute. Uh, but I've looked up my HT's uh, call sign and uh, SSID, or my call sign and my SSID of my HT. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the info button right here. And then right up towards the top of the screen, I'm going to click on the raw files. Now, you will have to be logged into the APRS website uh, if you want to do this. But here's the message you can see right here that was just sent out. Now, the downside to using this method is it exposes whatever telephone number we're sending a message to. Well, if you've got somebody that you, you know you're going to send messages to on a regular basis and you want to protect that privacy just a little bit, there's a really easy way to do it. Let's head over to smsgte.org. And I'm going to go ahead and click the login button and enter my credentials there. Now, once you're logged in, you want to come right up here to where it says user tools and come down to the alias manager. On the alias manager page, uh, if you've already got some aliases there, you'll have to scroll down a little ways. And towards the bottom of the page, you will see a add button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the add button for a new alias. And I will be presented now with a box where I can give it a, uh, a shortcut name and then the phone number. So for the shortcut name, let's just call this one web. So web will be my alias. Now I'm going to head back over to that website so I can copy this phone number that I want to address that message to. And then uh, back on the alias manager, we'll go ahead and paste that in. And we'll hit submit to save that entry. So you can see that it uh, added that web here for our shortcut and then the uh, complete phone number over here beside it. Oop, I didn't want to edit that. All right, so now let's take a look at the way that will work on the radio. Okay, so now that I have my alias created, I went ahead and composed a new message on the uh, FT3DR, 
and we'll go ahead and send that one out this time. You'll notice this one uh, is still addressed to SMS GTE, but instead of putting the phone number, we've put at web, W-E-B. So let's go ahead and transmit that message out. And then in just a couple of seconds, we should see it pop up right there behind me on the screen. And there you have it. There's the test new alias uh, message that we just sent out. It did take me a couple of times to get that one to go through. I think I just wasn't being heard by the gateway or there were some packet collisions. So there are some uh, chances you may have to try to send your message a couple of times, but you should receive an ACK once your message has been heard and injected into the APRS system. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to APRS.fi and let's take a look at those raw packets. Let me get myself off of the screen here and we'll head back over to the APRS.fi website. <clears throat> now, uh, you see before where we had to put the phone number out there and it was sent in the clear. This time, we just addressed the message to at web which was our alias that we created. So when we sent out the second message to test the new alias, we didn't have to expose the phone number we were sending it to. So this is a great way if you wanna go out there and create uh, aliases, maybe for your husband or for your wife or for your kids, you can send them a message using an APRS radio without exposing their telephone number to everybody. So I hope this clears up some of the mystery surrounding uh, APRS uh, and sending text messages and also kind of shows you how you can take a few minutes to help protect the privacy of yourself and those that you might want to send a message to. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.